Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And I got a little project over here. This is the wall wart or power supply for the uh, DM6 drum kit that I've got. I just kind of noticed it after moving them off to the side after I got done playing today that, uh, yeah, the wire is, you can probably see that where it's insulation is broken off the wire right there caused by either pulling the plug by the wire uh dry rotted wire you know the insulation not that hard to fix pretty simple the housing luckily comes apart pretty easily uh if you know what you're doing as far as wedging and prying this apart you could do this without damaging or destroying it usually these are glued together this one was glued together so got it apart without damaging it and basically what i'm going to end up doing is desoldering it cutting this protective piece right here splitting this and basically pulling the wire that's on the inside of that out moving that off to the back over here basically putting the wire just the wire back inside of it and then resoldering my connections over here not too much of a big deal but uh yeah, luckily this thing comes apart. There's nothing wrong with the power supply. The other end of it is just fine. Uh, I did, however, order a new one. It was like $15. I did order a new one, but this one will get me by until, uh, you know, it either fails. But just kind of feeling this wire here, it does not feel very good. And I'm afraid if I bend this thing on a sharp bend, it's going to end up splitting again. It's dry rotted. Not much you can do. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the drum playing that I did. Uh, I, I enjoyed the hell out of doing it. A little rough, you know, not too bad, not too shabby, but still a little bit of rough as far as playing goes. But that's not what this video is about. This video is going to be an unboxing video. So I bought the, the B14 by Zoom effects pedal for bass and I've been playing around with this thing and I like it a lot um there is a lot more room for adjustments on this thing there also is um just a lot of fun goofy sounds that you can make with it I upgraded the firmware on this thing not a big deal very easy just plug it in uh, a couple things you got to download to your computer in order to uh, get that to work right but since I got the one for the bass I went and got this one here for the electric guitar. So let's check this thing out. The one I got for the bass that I picked up used. This I picked up brand new. And this one was about 80 bucks too. So this is where I got it from, uh, Pitbull Audio. Great place. I've been dealing with these guys for, uh, shit, ever since I started messing back with the guitar again. And, uh, never had a problem with get them on eBay so let's see what this thing is and this one comes with batteries that one didn't come with batteries Maxell battery alkalines Ooh, getting fancy now so again more paperwork some of it's in a different language not a big deal and this is the little puppy that I got this one is for guitar and it also has a bunch of programmable, bunch of programs, programmable uh, settings that you could put in there yourself for customizing your own tone or use the presets that it comes with. And this is the G14 by Zoom. So this is for the electric guitar. And this one here is for the bass. Now these both have its own volume control on them. So you could either run this directly into an amplifier or you can run this thing with headphones on it. Um, you can connect it to your computer if you have any type of an audio interface. Um, yeah, they both have the rhythm section on it. They both have a looper on them. You could change the settings for a lot of the, actually all the controls that are preset inside there. You could change the settings for them with no problem. Um, and you can also record with this thing. You know, like I said, it's got the looper inside of it. Built-in tuner, you know, hit them both at the same time. You got a tuner now. The screen lights up when you have something plugged into it. And this one here I have no batteries in, but uh, this one here... Starts off with zoom, kind of nice, pretty cool little machine. 
So yeah, I've been playing around with the bass one. I liked it so much, I got one for the guitar. So, a couple other things that I got going on right now as far as uh, my channel goes. I've got a couple of uh, giveaways I'll be doing soon, very soon. Um, in fact, one of them I just purchased uh, yesterday, which is a SX uh, left-handed Strat guitar. You know, two single coil pickups. I uh, picked it up used, but in uh, new condition. Hopefully, I have to see it when I get it. And uh, then I might be doing a little bit of uh, upgrades on it, maybe some upgraded tuners on there. Um, you know, maybe new electronics inside of it. I don't know. We'll see when I get it. Uh, and also, I still have the giveaway for the Kramer electric guitar brand new has not been touched and uh, I still want to do a little bit of a setup on there make sure everything is uh, everything's top-notch on it before I do my giveaway so remember I still have those coming up soon so kind of stick around with my channel stay tuned if you're interested in those two giveaways and uh, yeah so I'm going to do a video on these guys here but just like I did with the drums um, I'm going to end up doing a video to where um, it'll be the same song, but I'm still practicing a little bit with the drums of that and still doing a thing where kind of like, I'm not playing it exactly the way the song goes. Um, but that's what makes it a cover, right? If you don't play it exactly, but it still sounds good. So I'm going to use this for the bass line on that. And I want to use this for the guitar on that same song. And I'm going to put myself in the video. Uh, record the drums first, record the bass, and then record the guitar, and then put everything into one video so it looks like it's a, well, I can't say it's a one-man band, but it'll be the same person for all the instruments, right? Right. All right, you guys take care, have a good one, and uh, remember, stay tuned for the giveaways. Catch you later.